Hey YouTube, it's Colin here again. I just wanted to show you the part two to building your own downrigger. This is a flagpole holder that's supposed to go on the side of your house to hold a flag. You anchor it to the wall. But the reason I bought this one and not the other brands was because it has four holes and it's got an adjustable piece here that you can adjust all around. But I'll show you the inside. I'll take this right off. See, it's got all those little bars that match up right here. So it won't turn. But the nice thing about this is when you put your boat, like a John boat or a canoe, in the back of your truck, and you don't want these to hang like this over the side of the truck and like be hanging over the, like in the, almost, so you can't really see so good. So. The reason I got these is they can adjust, so I'm fishing like this, and then I adjust them when I get back to the launch ramp to put it in my truck, like this. So, And this came with four one-inch bolts, screws, really nice screws actually, so those came with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to adjust it to the way I want it. I'm going to take the piece of pipe that we have, stick it in. You got to make sure this is pretty much, and it's got an adjustable here. It's got a little peg that goes in, so you want to push this really down in, then take it, stick it in, put it in as far as you can, and these will come in handy, I'll show you in when the when I anchor it to the boat. You want to put it in really tight, really tight. Nope, not good. We pushed the beads right out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this There we go. Knocked over my mother's candles. Oh, shit. But that goes tightly there. And then you have your pipe clamps. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, because they're so big, you want to take them and you want to shorten them just a little. You want to make sure they go down so you're not tightening so much because the reel will go out of alignment. And the last thing you want to put on is the um, 90 on the end because threading it through is the hardest part. So I'm going to put one on down there. Okay. This is the trickiest reel. I should have done this one first. The other reel was easier because it was a big conventional reel. You can find this cost me about fifteen dollars to build each one. So for set the downriggers that are at the store cost seventy dollars for those ones that you can mount right to the side. Adjust this so it sits flat. Seventy dollars, like I can't afford that, so I just built a lot of my own stuff. So, like this would be for trolling for fish in like Comet Pond in Hubbard's Den. I've fished there from shore. Got some perch. That was it. But these. Would this is gonna work good because of the can get it down and in the next video I'll, I went to Bass Pro as you probably saw in one of my other videos I went to Bass Pro and I showed you what I got but I did go to the downrigger section in the boat area and I got some downrigger parts like the pull away clips and I got 
I was cheap and I didn't have a lot of money to spend on other stuff. So I just bought a couple of salt water weights that were really big, like I want to say like 10 ounce they are. So I just, it came with a little uh, double ended clip on the downrigger part. So I got that. The downrigger pull away clips were $10 each. So 10 bucks there. So but I'm just preparing to get my boat around Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I'm looking forward to fishing the deep ponds in the summer cuz like I haven't caught a trout since like April vacation. I'm kind of mad. So, I've and I caught a few bass, a lot of perch, um, a lot of sucker fish, a lot of like those fail fish things. And I want to go. I got some tiger musky lures, so I want to try Lake Chauncey for tiger musky. Wish there were more fishing tournaments around here in Massachusetts. There's like a lot of big bass tournaments on Lake Consigamon and Worcester, but it's just like not, I don't have a boat yet, so 